Okay, so this is Ring What Media. We're over here in Birmingham at the Boxer Sky Sports Show. We've got a bloody legend here, haven't we? Jimmy the Fist, how are you, mate? I wonder, I don't know about legend, but yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Really good. How are you doing? All right. I'm all right, mate. And it's uh, a good buzz around the place this week, and you're looking forward to a good fight. I really am. You know, I love being, love being on Sky Sports around Boxer. Uh, the hospitality is amazing. All the team's fantastic. Always make me feel welcome and... Uh, you know, I'm down here for an holiday, I put a bit of a scrap, you know what I mean? So, you know, packed my suitcase this morning and uh, here we are. Tell you what, I wouldn't want your room service bill after for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, mate, that's the one, you know. We work hard, we play hard, but no, no, I'm, uh, we're here to do a job. And, uh, you know, fully on it, fully professional. Um, you know, I've had a full four-week camp for this one, so... Four weeks? On, you should be absolutely blowing them out of the wind. You know it, there you go, mate, you know what I mean? Ten days last time, uh, four weeks this time. Uh, but I did fight eight weeks ago, so um, you know I've been, and that was a ten rounder. So I'm an active fighter. Um, always keep on, uh, you know, in shape. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Ready to do the double on Gibbs. So, <laughs> that was my next question. So, do you think you can do the double on Gibbs? Yeah, I know I can. I know I can. Um, you know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna put it on him. Take him back to December the seventeenth last year, um, a place where he didn't like. Um, you know, back into deep waters, uh, back on his chest, and uh, you know that's you know we're going to remind him uh, where he was five months ago. Yeah, I tell you what, there's never a quiet fight with you around, mate, is there? No, that's it. You know, we you know we always. Uh, I mean, I soak it up. You know, I'm 42 years of age. Who knows when it's going to stop? Never, uh, never. You know, that's it. Oh, mate, you'll be still doing this in, when you're 50. I'm the Yorkshire Bernard Hopkins, ah, you know what I mean? That's it. That's the one. But. Uh, no, I love it, and uh, it's, it's a, there's a real buzz around Birmingham, so it's great to be here, yeah. When you walk through the door, the whole place just lights up, because you are a good character and a great lad. But on a serious note, you know, you've had some fantastic fights for your career. Um, and, you know, you, you don't look 42. You don't fight like you're a 42-year-old, do you? Nah, um, I think because I started late in boxing, uh, I've got low miles on the clock. Um, you know, apart from a couple of wrinkles under the eyes, you know, um, other than that, I, I feel fresh. Had a bit of sunshine this time uh, for this one, and um, I feel revived. I feel good. Been out on holiday. Um, Sorry, train camp. Yeah, Cost, Costa del Brighouse. There was a bit of sun this week, and I just got a little bit yesterday. You know, and uh, yeah, when I go to Spain and places. In fact, I went to Cuba in January after the Gibbs fight, and then you know, just topping a bit of tan up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, listen, it's a great card, of course, and uh, one fight I wanted to talk about in particular, the first ever female British title fight. What a piece of history this week. Yeah, part of a piece of history, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, an, it's amazing. Women's boxing is just going from strength to strength, isn't it? Um, so, you know, great to be a part of it and a part of history, yeah, and, and, a, and another very, very good card from Boxer, yeah. Of course, Joshua Boazzi making his Sky Sports debut. Um, he kind of said earlier this week he feels like he's at home going to be a good night for him I think yeah absolutely you know he's a great fighter uh, bags of talent and uh, no doubt he will go all the way to the top you know he's a, he's a special talent yeah so listen have you got a few coming down to support you this week there's a few there's a, not too many actually I've only got about five or six <laughs> so but they'll, they'll be making the noise no um, <clears throat> I think a, a lot of people I think with the bank holiday weekend they're away with family and things like that and I understand it's a long way down uh, but there are a few faithful that are coming down and uh, really appreciate that from, from you know from them yeah i'm sure they'll make enough noise for all of them mate i'm, I'm sure and it's going to be a good fight i really can't wait for this one um like you say he took him to deep waters back in december and you know i think this is going to be a very similar fight i think yeah he's um <clears throat> i don't know what <clears throat> what he's going to do but whatever don't, don't really matter um i just play to my strengths um it is a very very good fight he's technically you know, very good, sharp boxer. So I've just got to take away his strengths and uh, capitalise on mine, yeah. Listen, we're getting heckled here. The press conference is about to start. Listen, great to see you as always, mate, and we wish you the very, very best this week. Likewise, great pleasure. Thank you. I'll see you again, mate. You too, mate.